Hello, this is Josh Arias. I have an update to uh, to my modern terraceology called Josh Arias Survival. Um, today I'd like to demonstrate uh, some new stuff that I've done. Uh, I've got a, a water boiler and a steam engine. So water boiler obviously turns water into steam and steam engine turns that into uh, rotational power. Um, so I'd like to demonstrate that quickly here. Um, so in my hand we've got our boiler and also the steam engine. I'm going to uh, power it with a fireplace, so put heat into the boiler. So that's what we'll do first. Uh, place down our boiler, and then also place down our fireplace right beside it. And also, I need to get some sort of fuel. Get a few planks for the job. I'll plunk some planks in here. And it's generating heat. So then we take our water, grab some water out of a tank I've got there, and plunk it into our boiler. And as you can see, we have some water in here, and it's already boiling the water into steam. So we'll see in a moment, as we'll see some steam appear. There it is, gray steam. So then we can take the steam and we can put it into our engine. Let's do that here. Got our steam engine. Let's connect it with uh, these fluid pipes. So we're going to plunk it out there and into our steam engine. And so we have our steam in here and it's currently generating power. Well, we can't see it right now, so let's hook it up to an axle so we can see it work. Give a moment to refresh. he goes and he's off. So then we can then uh, connect this to uh, another any sort of other device that accepts power. Uh, in this case I've got the crusher which turns ores into chunks. Let's place that down and we'll be able to see the power going up. So one of the byproducts of of turning steam into power is that steam condenses back to water. Uh, this output tank will output water again uh, so you can collect your water back and feed it back into your system. And that's basically the demonstration I have for you. Where we take water, turn it to steam, it goes down this pipe and into our uh, steam engine, which then turns it back into power and water. And we power that all starting with the fireplace that generates heat. Well, I guess I could show uh, one other cool thing that uh, sure if I've demonstrated on video yet, um, is you can actually pipe heat now as well. Uh, so let's get some heat pipes. Uh, I thought I called it heat pipe. <laughs> what did I call it? Help! I called it a um, heat duct. Ah. Bring those heat ducts over here. So then we can do things like this where we you know, have our fireplace over here. Put some more planks in it so it's generating heat. And we take our heat ducts. and connect them up to our boiler. As soon as this guy refreshes, I believe. Oh yeah, there it goes already. It's a going. So just a couple of the cool things I've been working on. Um, just using some of the networking code that I've written uh, lately and uh, some other things. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.